So that's Denny's done. What did you think? Lovely, especially the pancakes. Amazing. Yeah, I've all eaten a little bit too much, but uh, it's worth it. Now on to Sea World. <laughs> We've made it to Sea World. Um, very busy today. Like we were queuing for nearly 15 minutes just to get into the park um, for parking. So doesn't bode well, but uh, sure, it'll still be a good day. So another hot day at SeaWorld. I've just got a photo key pass for, I can't remember, $70 for the day. So we're gonna get as many photos as we can because we've got the tour booked for this afternoon. So they're gonna cost that price as well. So we wanna capture their memories. So we may as well have one for selling books and have as many photos as we can. Uh, so we're heading towards Manta. Twenty-seven degrees already, and it's what half ten in the morning, which is quite nice. Um, but this weather's not going to last us. We've got a hurricane coming in on Wednesday, Thursday that we play, that we fly. So that's going to be interesting. But anyway, right. while we've got the nice sunshine, let's enjoy it. So we've just done Manta. Um, I'll insert a picture here because we've got the photo key today. The photo key is with taxes, it was $82 for the day. So because we've got the sea lion tour later on, we uh, thought it was worth getting. Now we're just getting a refillable cup, which slushies are included, so result. Uh, catch up in a bit.
in here. Oh, really? Oh, it's open. It's back there. Okay. It's open. It's called Sea Town. Okay. Hello. Are you turning on the place? Um, manatees. They're very friendly animals. If you saw these in the um, wild, yeah. Little no baby one over there, Matt. Last time we were here as well, they were saying like the babies are caught. Oh, mom, I was the I just see the one. So that's cracking done. Um, it was cracking. What did you think? Loved it. It was awesome. So we did back row again. So it was it was great. We best do some filming. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've just done uh, Mako three times in a row, haven't we? <laughs> so pictures here, here, and here. Um, so now what we're doing is uh, we've got to head towards the tower because we've got our tour now with the sea lions. Um, and if we, oh Jay, I told him to meet us in front of this sign. Um, Um, sea lion tour and then a drink. Yep. We'll be yeah. in now I see what's the week. So we're going to be in, we're going to go in Finn's Gifts. Then get a drink and then go to the tour. So we are... So we have checked in for the sea lion altar. Sea lion up close up the tour. Fake. Hi, so we've um, checked into the sea lion up close tour. Uh, just waiting for the tour uh, line here. And we're all, you excited? Very excited. 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 Wake up. Excited. Oh, is excited. So we're just waiting to be taken away. So the tour has started. So we're just walking to the preserve bit. Um, don't know how it's going to plan out. We get to meet and feed them. Um, look at the preserve, go on the stage. Um, but I'll try and take you along with what we can with you. With us. With me. With you. With you. With us. Cheeto, 
take nine. Whether it be on their front or their back flippers. Now our trainers, uh, they do know just looking at the animals who's who. But if you're a new trainer, about a hundred animals and their names and personalities are going to be a lot for you on your first day. And those tags and numbers are going to be your new best friend. So if it's on the left, you're looking at a lady. If it's on the right, you're looking at a gentleman. Now that unique number that you're going to see is very similar to a social security for us humans. The difference is, we high ours, they wear it on their flipper. Um, so that unique number is actually going to be uh, connected to all their information as an animal. So who their parents are, their birthday, all their medical information, if they're from another facility. All that information is going to be linked up to a digital database, so that way we can have as most accurate info on our animals. Oh yeah, dogs, anybody? Yes. Gotcha. So, have you ever given your dog like a very nutritious full meal? They eat it all, they seem satisfied, uh, but then you pull out your own food, a crumb drops, and the dog is frantic like it's never seen food in their entire life. That's these guys in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, so, a lot of them really do love the snacks, and they're also a pretty. Uh, <laughs> young are the baby, the little ones? Oh, um, yes, yes. So right over here, uh, we do actually have a sea lion pup on that rock. Um, so the sea lion pups, we have two of them actually. Uh, they were born on exhibit this last summer. So the thing about sea lions, they are only born uh, during the pup season, which is typically from like May to usually oh, September so at the very latest. So actually we can kind of see, uh, so they'll actually use mom and pup communication. So kind of like if you're taking your kids to the store, and let's say you lose track of each other, your kid calls out mom, dad, hopefully not every mom in the entire store is going to be like, oh my gosh, that's my kid. Be like, no, that sounds like my kid, right? Same thing for the pups and those mamas. So if they need protection, if they need to nurse, they just need mom for whatever reason. They can just call out to mom and vice versa. Just so make sure you sit with your party so we know who you're with. Unless you want to ditch who you're with, you know? <laughs> so, uh, we are here at the stadium. Has anyone seen the show yet? Yeah. Perfect. Well, if you haven't, you totally should. It's one of the coolest shows we have at the park. Uh, so we actually have California sea lions, uh, Asian small quad otters, and a Pacific walrus. So it's pretty awesome. And uh, we've got your sea lion trainer coming along this way. Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome. My name is Val. I'm one of the trainers here. Um, Jen is going to be coming down in just a moment with, of course, what you guys are here to see, the beautiful sea lion gunner. Um, fun fact on gunner, there he is. He is the oldest sea lion that does shows in, the, in our back area. So. G of sea lion and otter. Uh, the main thing that I ask is that when you guys do come down here, just make sure you're walking behind the trainer. Please do not cut in front of Jenna and of course Gunner. Um, and then when, when we're ready, we will kind of do some touching and hang out down here. We'll go group by group. Right here. Um, so he's not our largest sea lion. Our largest sea lion is Cheeto. He's out on exhibit, so you'll see that when you kind of feed our animals. They can get up to a thousand pounds. He's roughly around 500 or so, so he still has a few pounds he could get to get to our largest, who is roughly close to that thousand. Um, you guys can come on down. Uh, sea lions, as you can tell, they have those little external ear flaps, so they can hear you with those little ear flaps. 
They can also hold their breath for about 10 minutes. So I think it needs to go about 5 minutes or so. Alright, give us one second. Hop right over here. Is it okay if I sit back down? Oh, sorry. that does show so with him sometimes we just have to be a little bit louder with him or his vision as of course the only same thing with us the older we get we kind of have our little bit of eyesight our hair we'll lose some of that so same thing with these guys um, but with him uh, with our, our, all of our sea lions 10 is like roughly around the age that sea lions are going to live 10 to 15 is kind of around that age so him being 24 or if you could tell like see so, yeah, you guys well, if it's his birthday, so do you guys like make like a fish cake for him? Or if it was his birthday, birthday, what we do is we have a lot of stuff we do for them. Fish cakes, uh, we make a lot of jello. Sea lions love jello. And we write happy birthday on it. What uh, <laughs> uh, it's just plain gelatin. So we make with a color food, but it's just plain old gelatin. So no like sugar or nothing? Nope, added. it's just regular plain. Oh wow. Yeah, it just helps to get that water that they um, they need to get in. They don't drink with the salt water, so they get it through fish and from jellos. Well, if they were here, but if not, fish is normally how they would get their water. Cool. Any last any questions or anything? You want to hear one more time how loud he can get? Yeah. Ready? All right. Uh, okay, good boy. Very <laughs> down. All right, guys. You guys are about to hang out with a bunch of sea lions. Um, I can answer any questions that you guys have real quick before you guys go upstairs. If not, Ethan should be upstairs to answer any of your other questions. But does anyone have anything they want to know? Before? Go, big old dog. <laughs> The youngest one that you have here. Oh, one year old. That is actually kind of new for us. Uh, we usually get any of our sea lions over on uh, our stadium side. We don't bring these guys back and forth. Uh, anyone that's in show stays over here. Anyone that's in stadium potentially can come over here. Most likely they stay over there. But we had an opportunity for to bring a little one over. One years old is the, actually the earliest we've ever brought anyone over because of the personality. That's how usually people ask us how we tell which is going to be a show animal. We let the animals tell us. Um, sometimes when we work with our animals and we feed them, we see who's really docile and chill and really laid back. And a one year old sea lion like Dixon, um, he is fantastic. He is so laid back. He's hanging out with a two year old. Um, they're learning so much. What he's learning his name. He's got his own bed, which is where they set up in their pools. Um, he's learning to move around this area, and for a one-year-old, it's just amazing because on out there, they're like he's so like, playful. He constantly is playing with his ball inside. Like he's probably a pro soccer player, um, but 
for him at such a young age, he is the youngest that we have back here. Two and three, usually three or so is some that we'll bring back if we bring anyone over. Uh, but it's just their personality and Dixon just outshined everyone and was like, if you want to stay, you stay. If you don't, then we'll put him back out on an exhibit. But he just loves learning and being with us. He's constantly with us and just so relaxed. So he's an interesting sea lion. Yeah. So with your sea lions and whatnot, um, do you have one that's like been rescued and like been put on a show or? So all of our rescue, re rescued animals are out on exhibit. Um, it doesn't mean that they can't come back here, but a lot of the times they're already at a certain age that we're just, it's gotta be beneficial for the animal. If the animal is rescued and it's not beneficial for them to come back here and do shows and we just want them to hang out on exhibit, then they're just gonna hang on exhibit. But if they're rescued and they're young and they're actually really like, you know, again, it's the personality. It just, we have to see how that sea lion is. But our ship right now, any rescued animals, we haven't had in a very long time, but they would be on exhibit if oh, wow. they're needed for anything. Yeah. It just, again, based on personality. You could have an animal that comes back and he could be a rock star and want to do shows. It's just, we base it off of them and let them tell us what they, they want to do. We listen to the animals. We actually let them tell us how the day is going to go. One more. Okay. So when you guys go out and like rescue these sea lions, how do you do it? That is actually our rescue team. Um, we have a whole different part of our park that does that. Unfortunately, I don't get to do them. Our rescue team is mainly for that. Um, but we haven't had any sea lion rescues in a very long time. California maybe is going to have more because of the coast, and we don't really have sea lions around here that often. Uh, but our rescue team does everything. So unfortunately, I can't tell you an experience because uh, I have not had that. So however they do it is their whole process. You know, uh, just a portion of our diet to our animals uh, out here at Pacific Point Preserve. So in total, um, the, all the animals that we care for here, so the animals that are over here on the stadium side as well as the ones that are here at Pacific Point, we're going to go through about a thousand pounds of fish every single day. Um, so we'll get that at five o'clock in the morning and kind of start the process of separating that out into different diets and things like that. Um, so this here is about it's probably just under about 100 pounds worth of fish. So today you guys are going to be feeding out herring. So it's a little bit of one of our larger fish that we feed out. Um, they're going to get things like herring, mackerel, squid, capelin, um, sometimes even ballyhoo. Um, so their diet's going to change depending upon the time of year and what kind of fish is available to us. Um, we want to make sure that um, all of um, what we're feeding our animals is sustainable so that those wild populations, sorry, I'm just pulling some fish guts at you guys. Um, are going to have that same access to that uh, varied diet. Now we make sure we work with our vet team and our lab and everything like that to make sure we know like the calorie content, the nutrient content of all of this fish to come up with a really well-balanced diet for our animals here. Um, there are two really young babies out here. They're a couple months old right now. They are not old enough to meet uh, fish yet. Uh, they're still nursing. They're going to nurse for about a full year before they start eating fish. Uh, they're pretty inquisitive, so you might see them come over here. You'll be able to tell they're the fluffier ones. They're substantially smaller than the rest of the animals out here. Um, just do your best not to throw towards them if you see them. Um, just, we don't want all the animals kind of jumping on top of the fish near them. Um, but you might see them around here, and I'll point them out if I do see them come over here. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any of those questions for you once you're done. Um, you can either bring your bucket over here or we'll grab it for you. Um, there is two hand washing uh, stations right here. Uh, definitely wash your hands when you're done so you don't uh, have the fishy smell stuck on your hands like I do. Um, but yeah, other than that, you guys can go ahead and find that spot right along the glass. We'll bring those buckets over to you. Once you have that bucket, you can feel free to start feeding. Fish, fish, fish. Bucket next to oh, fish. Right. That painted.
biggest <laughs> one. There you go. <laughs> Is that cheap? Oh, okay. That So yeah, so that tour was is a must do, well worth the money. We love the SeaWorld tours anyway. Yeah. So, so we've done about all of them now, I think, other than the rescue. Yeah, check the beluga. Next one we'll we've done look the into the rescue, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Um, so yeah, but I think we've only filmed the beluga, didn't we? And the killer whale up close. Oh and killer whale up close. And this one, so we've got to redo the penguin one. But we'll do them as many times. We'll try and do one every visit because they're just they're well worth it. So, so yeah, right. Off to go and get a drink refill. Yeah, and, and then, then we're gonna go get some, go go get wet. Go. Let's get changed and get on the rides. We're back from Sea World. We've had a really good um, day. It's a quick um, change, and now we're off to the Cheesecake Factory. What? Oh, I've got a fluff. Fluff. Um. So yeah, SeaWorld was a really good day. We got all the rides done that we wanted. Um, we've got Infinity Falls done. Insert pictures here if we've not already done this. Um, Jane and Elsie had a really good day, didn't they? They did. Uh, and, and we had a good day. The, the, the tour was really good. Um, got on all the rides we wanted. We did obviously Mako three times in Infinity Falls. We did end up having to buy the quick queue for Infinity Falls. Yeah, $15. Yeah, if you, if you go to the lockers, you can buy a one-off skip the queue and um, because when we joined it was 90 minutes and they just weren't moving and we really wanted to do the ride didn't we yeah and so, then so and, uh, when we left the queue it was 145 minutes so and then we didn't do atlantis because the long the wait was quite long for that and then the photos took an age and they sort out so it was it's a good job we just left when we did um we've got reservations at the cheesecake factory in 35 minutes so we're going to nip and pick Jay and Elsie back up from their hotel. They're staying at the Holiday Inn Resort Lake Buena Vista. I haven't already told you that. But yeah, then we're off to the Cheesecake Factory of Ireland. So we'll show you what we eat. We'll see you there. Where are we, guys? Yep. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Well, this isn't a birthday present. No, no. We don't do birthday presents. But Wedding presents. Let me finish. wedding present. Thank you very much. Thank you. Rude. Well, anyway. I'm here too. What have you ordered? Uh, Sprite. And? A passion fruit mojito. Oh, okay, cool. And a pizza. Oh, and a... Cherry Coke. Uh, oh. Cherry Coke and the Budweiser. Uh, oh. And I've got my Long Island iced tea and a cherry coke. So drinks are here. I'm drunk just off his breath. Liam's got his Long Island iced tea. Oh yeah, I'm happy. That's good then. Jay's gone for a Budweiser. What have you got? Oh yeah. 
Here are the drinks. <laughs> and there's my passion fruit mojito. Just in case you'd forgotten what we'd said like 30 seconds ago. Did we show from the video? No, it's without them there. Oh, it's very nice. Well, I've got a mouthful of leaf. Leaf out. <laughs> Uh, how's yours, Liam? Have I, have I done this? I've done this, haven't I? I don't know. I should have done it again. Yeah, have a sip. Mm. I'm happy. <laughs> how's yours, Jay? I know everyone that I'm dying to know. Mmm, up for dry there. Yeah, it's good. Good? Lovely. Vintage? Well, just taste it. Huh? Tastes different that time. I don't know, I'm trying to work it out. You never drink it at home. I do. I drink that in the right? Eh? I don't know. I don't know, it's nice. <laughs> so I can have another. Girls alright? Yeah, it's lovely. What is it, rosé and spritz? Rosé with a of lemonade. Or spritz with rosé. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, <that's pretty> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> These were the chicken sliders. This is what they come like. Luckily, we got four of these. So we've had one each, so we're sharing them. Elsie's there. Get it together, love. Is it nice? <laughs> that was set off. How is it, Jay? It's lovely, really tasty. Good. Liam, yours is all gone now. Gone. <laughs> is it good? After now you press record. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. And then we've also got the everything flatbread. Um, I say we've gone for two starters and we've split them four ways. So yeah, this is the second time recording this. So probably a little bit shorter than what we originally said, but I can't remember what we said. That's the core. So here's my main. I've got Korean chicken. Korean barbecue chicken with rice, uh, vegetables and mushrooms. Liam's got spaghetti and meatballs, but no spaghetti and penne pasta instead. Yeah, they don't do the original. So chicken tikka masala. Just chicken masala. Whatever it is. Have you tried it yet? Yeah. It's, it's tasty, yeah, really tasty. Happy with it? Yep. Good. You've got um, chicken rosita. Have you tried it? Uh, I've tried a bit of bacon and it's alright, yeah. Good, good. Liam's dugging in, dugging in, digging in. All the starters are very good, by the way. The flatbread is delicious as always. Yeah. So we've given up on main course. <coughs> it's very nice. I enjoyed nice. mine, just didn't. Couldn't manage it all night. Like we're going to do cheesecake as well. Excuse him. He's it's tired. Been, the low light in here just makes you so relaxed. Slash sleepy. So we're just browsing the cheesecakes now, trying to decide what to have. But you have to point out this. Who is coming and ordering a low carb, no sugar, and gluten free cheesecake? Gluten free, okay, maybe kind of get that if you've got allergies, but honestly, you don't come to the cheesecake factory and order a cheesecake with no sugar and no carbs. It's just not on. No, it's not. Cheesecakes are here and they've wisely brought takeaway boxes for us. So Jay's got a banana cream pie. Okay. Else has got lemon meringue. Lemon meringue, yeah. Cheesecake. Liam's got the chocolate bar. Hershey's chocolate bar. Hershey's chocolate bar. And I've gone for the calorific s'mores. Cheesecake. The other weaklings did not. How was your cheesecake, Liam? My cheesecake's gone, thank you very much. Is it nice? It's gone into their takeaway bar. <laughs> it was yummy. What did you think of your cheesecakes? Yummy. Thought Jay was going to eat all of his at one point, but uh, he found the last hurdle. I did. Yeah. One but thing. to be fair, I did finish his, I did have a load of this chicken. You did, yeah. I did a random one's dinner after. 
The only thing is that I've noticed since seeing now and Ian here, we can't do it. Since we've lost the weight, there's no way we can do what we used to. No, it's quite sad, really. It's good, but it's sad that we can't eat what we used to eat. Here, anyway. Anyway, before we go too much further, that's our stunt for today. We'll see you next week, maybe. Bye. Au revoir. Ciao.